working on the doors today on the 5x10 teardrop. As you remember, let me get back here a little bit. You can see my little door stop all the way around. And there's the three quarter inch. You see that little dark line right there? That's a 2.5 millimeter to give me a little bit more space between the three quarter inch and the door stop. So when the door hinges over like this and stops against it, I still have 2.5 millimeters of space for a gasket all the way around. So what I'm doing now, as you can see right here, I've measured over, there's my bottom door stop. You see how that goes? So this goes right here. And then and this piece that fits right there, it should fit kind of snug. Doesn't have to fit snug, but if you can get it snug, it's better, I believe. Now I'll glue that down, glue and staple that down. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have turned it sideways for it um, on the YouTube thing. But anyway, so this will give me something down here, and I don't necessarily need to put a door gasket along here. So when I run the the uh, roof vent fan, it'll have some place to draw a draft through from low down low. Okay, and then I'll put some fiberglass resin or two-part epoxy resin on here and on this too and then of course on my door stops all the way around on both sides and sand it and do it one more time so it's good and sealed and plus it has a, a nice smooth spot for the weather stripping to sit on it's still hot in here we had a rainstorm this morning it was supposed to be in the 80s so what I did here is I sanded that down at a little bit of an angle. Of course, you'll see a bigger gap here when the door's closed, but I don't care about that. So when you come and sit here, sit down right there, like this, you're not going to be, after a rain, there shouldn't be any water sitting here on this spot here. This should drain off if you do it right. Of course, unless you park your trailer on a hill, then the uphill side is probably going to hold a little bit of water, but you can't beat everything you just try to beat nature as much as you can on the uh, water issues so that you can enjoy nature all right this is the 5x10 teardrop without a galley we're getting closer uh, I need six more four by eight sheets of this pine right here but right now all they have is that cedar right there and I may relent and go ahead and use cedar but I don't really want to. It'd be okay for the roof. Up there. Give it a different texture or a different grain. But I need to finish this up. So I need one and a half pieces for that. And look over here on the... And I need one piece for that. Four by eight sheet. Because you have to cut it 60 inches by almost four feet. Okay. There we go. Five by eight, woody. It's gonna be a nice woody.